All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and today I have another Valheim seed video. This is perhaps one of the most unique seed videos I've ever done. I've found a really special seed. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, a lot of the Valheim content that I do, I do seed discoveries where I look for maypoles. Um, maypoles are not necessary, necessary to play Valheim at all. Um, they're just cool little features out in the out in the wild that some seeds generate with and some seeds don't. It's totally random. They confer to you a plus one comfort bonus, which helps with your rested buff. Now the rested buff is very very important, especially when you're fighting bosses. Plus one comfort is uh, definitely something that you'd want to have if it's available to you. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So, if you saw the title, you saw that this particular seed has four maypoles. That's right, four. I've never found a seed that has four maypoles close together. Now the unique thing about this seed is, is there are two of the maypoles are within 16 meters of each other. So that's pretty incredible. There was one time I found a seed. Someone else actually found it. They posted it on Reddit. There were two maypoles next to each other on a small island. Well, we have two maypoles next to each other right here. Okay. You can see I laid down some core wood. Those are four meter boards. And there you go. Maypole one, maypole two. Um, that's astounding. I've never found two maypoles that close together in a, in a seed on my own. Someone else has pointed it out to me. Um, even then, I've only seen seeds this close together one other time. So that's really unique. This would be a fantastic place to build a super base, a, um, a a really, really big castle. Maybe you're doing a co-op play. You guys can build a, you know, each person gets their own room next to a maypole. That's cool. The other part that's positive here is, is it's right here on the water, which is fantastic. Okay. Um, this is a really good port location right here. Um, that's way out into, th that's that's the ocean right there, which we'll visit the Valheim Seed Generator in a minute, and I'll show that to you. So you got two maypoles here that are really, really close. That's extremely unique. Again, as someone who <laughs> does a lot of content on maypoles in Valheim, this is a unique find. However, there's two more. So over here, not too far away, right through the woods, is maypole number three this one is even closer to the water that's another fantastic location I mean, look at that port that's great now that stone out here I don't know if that's a boar stone or not don't think it is no okay so you've got this maypole right here that's pretty damn close to the ocean um, that in of itself would be a video for me like if I found a seed with a maypole this close to the water this open um, you know again I don't know if this is a boar stone over here yet uh, yes it is that's a boar stone right there that's pretty cool um, this in and of itself is a fantastic location for a maypole but there's a fourth now the fourth is way up here now, we're not gonna fly over there because this video would be very very long and I'm not going to edit and jump over but that maypole village is very similar to this one it's right on the water but it's at a different island okay it's a different it, it's it's not hard to get to but it's not on the starter island this one is and so isn't the double maypole again astounding um, never this is pretty good and it's a decent decent defensive position. I can see you building a moat here into these little pools all the way around and then tighten it up over here. Um, again, really good location for, 
for for all four maypoles. It's it's again an exceptional seed. Now, is there anything else that's good about the seed? Well, yes, the bosses are in decent locations. Um, so let's take a look at the map. So here you go. Here's that seed that's off into the, di I mean that um, maypole that's off into the distance, okay? It's on another island. You're going to have to sail to it. But this island in and of itself is actually, like I said, a very good starter location. As you can see right here, you're on a little bay. This is a nice little bay right here. It's a very buildable spot. Now, the three maypoles that we have on our main island, really close to the spawn, are right here. Now, that's a little thing that you should note on the world seed on the Valheim map world uh, seed generator if you generate a random seed and you see a maypole right uh, it, it could be four of them in that spot because what happens is is the the map can't the map generator can't put multiple pins there so it only puts one to let you know there's a maypole there and it just so happens we have three in that area so that's pretty good um, bosses first glance doesn't look too good does it scroll out a little bit you've got the elder up here eh not too great right down here is where it's 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 fantastic you got three bosses right here really really close that's pretty solid in my opinion you've got a separate island over here for Yagloth if you wanted it you've got a bone mass here you've got the elder up there that elder isn't too much of a sale and this island right here isn't too much of a sail either. Um, the motor location, the bone mass, and the Yagloth that close together, that's pretty solid. I, I think that's, um, I don't think you're going to find much better than that unless the Elder was right here and Ichthyr was over here. <laughs> um, but that's pretty solid um, bosses. Now again, you're going to have to sail to it. It's not within walking distance, but Considering we've got four maypoles as well, I think that's pretty solid boss distribution. Let's pan out a little bit for the trader. Trader's up here, right next to the elder. Okay, um, pretty convenient. You're gonna go there anyways for the elder, so it's nice that the trader's there. And let's just show troll caves real quickly. You've got a nice troll cave port that you can set up. Now troll caves are fantastic. You clear them out. And then the opening of the troll cave, you can you can enclose it, you can put a portal in there and a bed. And the troll cave is indestructible, so anyone who attacks really isn't gonna you're only gonna be attacked from the front. It's a very easy defensible position. I always look for troll caves near the trader. This one happens to be close to the elder as well. So if you die during the elder fight, you're gonna be able to port back pretty quickly. I think that's pretty solid right there. How about Leviathans? Uh, okay. Um, it, it's not fantastic. This is one of the issues that you may have with the seed. You're obviously going to want to get Abyssal Harpoons. And because this seed has so many maples on it, you're probably going to want to play this as a co-op play. Right? Um, I mean, you can solo this seed, but you just, you know, you're going to have these maples unless you build a base all around them around each one of them but I don't know why you would but to each their own they have got a cluster of them up here that's fine but overall kind of sparse around your starting island you'd like to see more here still a couple though still you should be able to get your harpoon but I don't know if you're gonna get multiple harpoons out of this harvest um, couple up here I mean again it's it's not um, horrific but it's not fantastic for Leviathans how about crypts? Not bad. Um, again, this bay pole over here, the ones with the, the three may poles right in this area, um, it's fairly isolated. Now, obviously, you can run down here. You've got four here. You've got three over here, a couple over here. Should be enough to get your circling cores to basically get enough to get over here to the elder and the trader, which if you, you know, get over here, build your port, You'll be able to farm these and dark forest crypts over here. Um, good news is, is you've got a couple of sunken crypts on your own island you can run to. Okay, you don't have to boat. 
Um, that's a nice little positive. It's not enough to get you through iron, but it really depends on how long you stay in the Iron Age. I myself like to get to the mountains soon. I don't like to spend a lot of time in uh, the swamps. It's just not my favorite place. However, um, you do need to farm, you know, blood bags, etc., leeches, and you'll probably find plenty of that up here. Um, quickly, let's take a look and see what we got for Guck up there. Yeah, you got plenty of Guck trees up there as well, so not bad. Um, if you really want a lot of iron, though, again, this bone mass location is solid. Okay, you're going to find plenty of them here. Okay, that's enough to get you through the Iron Age, no problem. So, what else can I show you here? Um, beehives, there, there's, there's not a lot in terms of given how many maypoles there are, meaning... Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze there, excuse me. <laughs> um, so if you have a co-op play, um, you know, you only got five or six in your immediate area. Th again, that should be enough, but, you know, it's it, I've seen seeds where there's way more uh, beehives than this. But there's a few. You're just going to have to farm them up, find them. Um, let's take a look at the motor. What's the dragon egg situation? couple here couple there. One here on your main island, which is nice, but you've got four by the motor spawn, which is ideally what you want. You don't want to have to drag them around too much. Let's take a look quickly at the frost caves. Again, you've got plenty in this motor area here, so what I'm thinking is you should get down here, you build your bone mass base, you, you cross the plains, which is going to be tough. You get into the mountains, um, and here, you know, you build a little portal somewhere in one of the ruins, and you go farm up your um, silver, etc., hoping that there's some there. Now, it would be cool if there's a little silver in one of these two small uh, mountain biomes, well, three, three small mountain biomes on your starter island. I'm sure you can find at least one vein up there, but you'll have to look. But there's no eggs, and there's no... Um, frost caves. Now there's a bunch up here by this bone mass. Um, this bone mass too is solid, and this mountain is is solid. I bet there's a lot of resources up there. If you so chose, you could do that. Um, what else we got? Let's take a look at the totems. It's okay. I mean, you know, you've got a couple right around the agloth. You're gonna have to work that a little bit. Now, there's plenty down here, and you've got an elder and a bone mass down here as well, but uh, I don't know if you're going to head down this far. I would think you'd probably run up here. Since you've got a bone mass and motor up here, you, you're probably going to be in this area. Get this one right here. You can, you know, shuffle off to the to the meadows right here that seems to be in between these biomes. Maybe build a little fort right there. I don't know. Got a few up here, a few up here. Uh, overall, it's not a horrible situation. Useful rooms, which is our piggies. Here's that one in the distance. Right there is going to be where that other maypole is, right? The one we just showed you. Got a couple up here in this island. Um, this is an okay little island. If you were just to play up here on your own, you know, solo, uh, this is actually a really good starting spot, too. So, overall, um, this, this seed is going to get a 9, 9.5 for me. This is almost a 10. If the bosses, if, if the elder was on that main island with, so it, it's a 9, it would be a 9.5 if the elder was down there. It would be a 10 if all of the bosses were on the main island and there's maypoles. Um, I haven't seen that yet, but this one is definitely a nine. It's one of the better seeds that I found because all three of the maypole locations are really nice buildable spots. And you've got this one particular location that has the unique attribute of having two maypoles within 16 meters of each other, approximately. Uh, that's, 
that's fantastic and it's right on the water as well and you've got the other maypole right in the, over here through through the woods this is really right on the water uh, which is nice so what would I envision for this this is probably going to be a fantastic little seed if you're doing a co-op play if you've got like a dedicated server where you have a whole bunch of people play on it and you have you know some some game rules maybe it's modded um, again you can just go into the cheat menu and build maypoles whenever you want but if you're trying not to cheat and you want to find something that's really really unique this is the seed for you I think uh, definitely a modded version of the game you know challenge version and uh, definitely co-op play I think that would this the seed would really excel at that. I mean, four maypoles, uh, it accessible early on is pretty pretty remarkable. I, I've never found a seed with four this close before. Again, that 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 fourth one is a little bit off in the distance. You're gonna have to sail up there or or cheat and fly up there, but it's not horrid. You can get there via raft if you needed to. But these three are fantastic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is, again, one of the most unique maypole seeds that i found, and I'm still hunting for them. So if you have any recommendations of maypole seeds that you found in your travels, let me know. If you found any that have two maypoles close together, like this, definitely put that in the comments below. I want to see it, I want to check it out, and I'll do a video on it. And I'll give you credit in the video and in the description if you find them, because that's cool. And that's the type of con Valheim content I like to do on my channel, is, is Maypole Discovery. Anyways, thank you so much for coming by and taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again soon.